Hi guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Badger Patriot 105. And uh, right off the bat, guys, I've got to say, um, my first impressions before actually using this airbrush was it's got a 0.75 uh, needle nozzle, which for those uh, that are not um, aware um, that much of airbrushes, that's quite a large uh, needle nozzle setup. So um, my initial um, thoughts was it's going to be good for uh, priming, laying down base coats and varnishing uh, because obviously varnish is a lot thicker than uh, most of your paints that you're going to be spraying out an airbrush. So I thought brilliant it's going to serve that purpose, it's going to be perfect for that but what I've actually found on actually uh, using it uh, a little more is that it's actually scalable in the uh, sense that you can actually use it on you know your miniatures as well to actually add some detail which I just didn't think uh, with such a, a large needle nozzle setup I'd have that ability so I mean if I've got to be honest if I could pick any one airbrush if you could only ever own one airbrush out of all the airbrushes I've tried so far this is sort of like uh, um, I don't know like the Range Rover of, of cars where you know you can take it off road you can take it on road you know it pretty much serves all purposes um obviously you know like a badger chrome is going to you know be able to do uh fine detail better than this obviously it's, it's set up to do that but having said that i think this airbrush is just marvelous so what i'm going to do uh with this uh uh, reviews go over some of the key things that I think is brilliant about this airbrush so uh, let's start with the uh, uh, needle nozzle um, combination because I think that's the real uh, winner in this airbrush so we'll, we'll go over that now so back in a second guys okay guys so I've took the back of the airbrush off and I've removed the needle and the nozzle tip and the nozzle section of the uh, airbrush now I'm not going to get into too much of the technicalities and I'm not going to do a dismantling and a reassembly of, the, of this airbrush because Les from Awesome Paint Job done a grand job of doing that recently. So I'll put a, a link in the description box below if you want to see how to uh, take it apart and put it back together again. Uh, but what I am going over is some of the things that I think makes this airbrush fantastic. So we'll start with the uh, tip, the, the needle tip. Look how big it is guys and uh, I think this is a huge bonus. The reason why it's so good is what you'll find on most airbrushes, uh, especially the ultra fine setup ones, is they have to have like little tips like this, um, and they're so easy to lose, guys. They really are. Um, replacing them on most airbrushes is not that expensive, but it's always the case that you know you're, you're trying to clean out your airbrush, you, you'll ding the, the the nozzle tip straight on the floor, and then that's it. You know, you've lost it. You've got to repurchase another one, and you're going you're to be without your airbrush for three or four days. So that is. Uh, you know a huge uh, benefit having such a, a large uh, tip and also it, you don't screw it in so you're never going to have to worry about you know damaging thread on it or anything like that it just sits in like so and the actual uh, tip section again so so easy to put on guys it really is just screw it in I say it's so easy to put it on and I can't screw it on myself there you go I have got I have got the excuse I've got a camera in my face though guys and I'm sticking to it so it's that simple uh, so that is one of the reasons that I love about this airbrush also another cool feature on the needle is because it's a 0.75 setup the needle itself is actually really thick it's going to be much more difficult to ding and prang this needle as opposed to some of those really thin ultra fine needles out there You've also got like a little, um, I don't even know what you call it, I'm just going to call it a round bit <laughs> at the end, which makes it picking up the needle very easy. Uh, <laughs> so many times I've got one of those ultra fine needles and I'm doing this to try and pick it up. So again, helpful uh, to uh, pick the needle up uh, that way as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it again guys and we're going to show you uh, me spraying some uh, paint out of the airbrush to see how it copes um, trying to do thin lines and thicker lines and that sort of thing. So we're actually going to show you how it performs. Okay guys, so I've screwed it all back together, it's time to actually connect it now. This has got uh, what's called a quick connect and you can actually buy these uh, sets off the internet and I think they're fantastic. Um, I recently um, bought like a um, fine setup conversion kit for a Badger Velocity uh, from a great company, um, I think they're called Barwell Body or something. I'll try and remember to put a link down below, but I know that they sell uh, these uh, quick release connectors as well. 
um, and I was looking to pick them up at the time. So lucky for me, I've, I've actually got one now and I'll show you why they're so cool. Whereas an, a normal um, fitting of your airbrush, let's unscrew this, you'd actually have it like this and then you'd have to wind your airbrush around and screw it on and then when you have to take it off, you've got to screw it off, which can be quite time consuming, especially if you, you, you want to use different airbrushes for different jobs. But uh, let's try and screw this back on. With a quick release, as you can see guys, you pop it in the hole and it's on that quick and we're off again you pull it down so you pop it in and you're off <laughs> I love the quick release I really do guys um, so right let's start trying to spray some stuff out of this uh, bad boy then so I've got some uh, plastic card prepared here guys and as you can see I always keep a, a spare uh, piece of plastic card and I'm always over painting and priming just to test my colour so the perfect um, test really is to actually use you know a surface that's non-porous so we can actually see how uh, paint flows out this uh, Patriot so this is pretty much like it would be actually spraying a, a model with paint so I've actually primed it grey you might see some of the previous colours underneath and it might look a bit patchy because this uh, <laughs> this has probably had about a billion uh, different layers of paints but anyway we're going to test to see how um, paint flows out of the uh, Patriot 105 on some plastic card that's been primed uh, in grey. So let's try that again. Again I'm using, um, which colour is this? It's uh, Gremlin Green. <laughs> suppose you best not uh, feed this uh, any water after midnight. Okay that was the worst joke ever guys. Right, anyway. So just a bit more paint in there and we're going to just see again how this flows out the airbrush nice and smooth getting closer see how tight the lines I can get out of this again um, make sure that the paint's flowing nicely And as you can see, even with the 0.75 tip, sorry about the compressor noise in the background, you can see that I can still get quite fine detail with this airbrush, guys. Even with a camera in my face, but look at that. <laughs> coats it so smoothly and so uh, quickly um, back over to the So for me, the Patriot 105 is a winner, guys. It really is. Um, it's going to do relatively fine detail. Obviously, it's not going to be as fine as some of those ultra um, uh, fine airbrushes out there like the Badger Chrome and uh, so on. But 
if you're actually looking to get you know your first airbrush that's going to be pretty much forgiving to actually take it apart and clean uh, unlike me just pulling paint down the sides it's brilliant uh, again like i say you, you know you want you want to uh, take the tip off it's so simple as you've seen at the start of the video there taking the needle out it's simple again it's thick it's not going to bend easy so my review on the patriot 105 it's a winner guys it really is it's a uh, it's pretty much an all-round airbrush and uh, I really would recommend it to people out there that want a really uh, wide nozzle to get uh, varnishes, base coats down really smooth. And also for the beginner that you know wants to paint the Space Marines and replicate some of the painting tutorials that you see on YouTube, um, you're going to be able to do it with this airbrush. And uh, as I say, um, more impressed with this airbrush than I actually thought I would be. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up from uh, the uh, Badger 105 from me. And in the next video, I'm going to try and see how I can uh, get some uh, uh, paint down on a, a mini with these Minotaur paints.